It's in our blood, our DNA. These are the popular images of the post-Sandy recovery. People returning happily to the beach and businesses reopening. But for many victims of the storm, getting back home and to a normal life seems more out of reach than ever. But when part of the reason you can't get home is because your insurance company is trying to lowball you on your claim and FEMA seems unable or unwilling to help you, well, that's just beyond the pale. They survived the wind, the rain, the storm surge, only to face another nightmare, a flood insurance claim process that threatened to take what the storm had not. At an afternoon press conference in Newark, Menendez blasted FEMA. He said their lax oversight allowed so-called write-your-own insurance companies who administer national flood insurance program policies under their own name to perpetrate fraud by rewriting or ignoring engineering reports that favored policyholders, resulting in lesser or in some cases no payout to victims. Doug Quinn says the engineer who looked at his house blamed the damage on Sandy. But when the insurance company made a decision on his claim, he was told... That was long-term earth movement and therefore not covered by my flood insurance. This week, a judge in New York ordered insurers there to hand over all engineering reports, including first drafts, to attorneys representing Sandy victims, who say the insurers pulled a bait-and-switch right under FEMA's nose. Chip Merlin represented the families at the center of the New York case and says the judge's order could be a game-changer for victims all across the region. So what we expect as a result of this uh, opinion in New York, and hopefully it will be followed in New Jersey, is that we're going to be able to get a remedy because we're going to find that people who are uh, being lowballed, uh, the evidence is going to come out, that's exactly what happened. Menendez called for a federal investigation into the matter and sanctions for insurance companies who were found to have engaged in the practice. What's also wrong about it is that there is a federal entity uh, that oversees these insurance companies, and we're going to get to the bottom of what they knew, when they knew it, how they allowed this to happen, because uh, from my perspective, they are responsible as well. Merlin says he's working with Sandy victims in New Jersey to get a similar order from a judge here, which could potentially change in a very big way how we see the post-Sandy recovery. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.